Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a magical week so far. For today's video, I'm doing a second Funko Pop haul of the year. So I'm just going to label this number two, Funko Pop haul two. Um, I have six to show you. There's a slight spoiler. Ah, oh no. <laughs> um, the six that I have, I'm going to be doing them in groups of two. There's two Marvel, two from a certain movie, and then two complete exclusives from overseas. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with Marvel. And the first Funko is a complete spoiler. So if you haven't watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier, maybe skip like a minute or something. Um, because the first pop is the pop from the final episode of that series on Disney Plus. Amazing. So good. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Um, but it is the Captain America Funko. And this is, of course, after Falcon becomes Captain America. And this Funko came out just after the series finished. Um, as you can see, he is number 814. He looks so good. I love how it says Captain America. You've got obviously the Falcon and Winter Soldier branding. You've got a full image on the side and then all of the ones that were released are on the back with the Disney Plus down here. Um, I will pop him out. Um, a great thing or a great tip is to open them from the bottom and then that way if you destroy the bottom of the box you can't see. And that way I'll be able to show you them in more detail. Oh, he's a bobblehead. So this is just an up close of him, so you can see much better. I like how you can still see his eyes through the goggles. There's a lot of detail on the suit. And of course his shield as well. And the detail of course goes on to the back as well. I loved the show so much. It added so much like character development as well that you can't really get in the movies when there's so many Avengers. Um, I do prefer Bucky, but Sam is going to be an absolutely amazing Captain America. The second and final Marvel pop is actually a Hot Topic exclusive, and this is from the WandaVision show. Now, this is Wanda where she is levitating in the final episode of her series as well. Um, she is number 828. Again, the logo for the show is up here. You have a full image on the side. And you have these um, four on the back. The one that was released normally is this one here, where she's reading the book. And this is from the end credit scene that was at the very end of the series. And I will just pop her out. But I just preferred her levitating. I just thought it looked better. It was in the main part of the programme. She's actually surrounded by plastic on both sides. Oh, she's actually on a stand as well. I think she looks amazing. Look at Wanda. Her outfit was unreal. The transformation from, oh, it was just so good. Um, and the outfit's amazing. And then on the back, you can see the design on the back of her jacket as well. I love her little headdress, shall we call it? And obviously you've got all the waves in her hair as well. I love how Funko really, really do go above and beyond with detail, um, and she is absolutely amazing. Next up, let's do the Beauty and the Beast ones. I've just realised that I said that only two of these were exclusive, like, convention ones, but technically five of the six are, because the Scarlet Witch was Hot Topic exclusive, and these two are both exclusive too. And they are, of course, from Beauty and the Beast, like I just said. And this first one is the Enchantress. She is a Wondrous Convention 2021 limited edition and i love the coloring and the box design for the 30th anniversary because pete and the beast is 30 this year um here is the logo right here it says enchantress she is number 1035 you of course have the half of her here you then have a full image on the back and then you have this on the back as well i tend to find when they're sort of convention exclusives they don't actually have the image on the back um with them in this lineup I kind of feel like maybe they just sort of go, they would go in this lineup or something. Um, but I will, of course, pop her out from the bottom. She's quite a weighty pop, actually. Quite a weighty one. Here she is. She doesn't need any form of stand. She stands all on her own. She has a lot of detail on her. She is, of course, holding the rose that she tries to give to the prince at the start of the movie that he, of course, rejects. Um, I love the detail on her little crown 
the detail in her curls as well is incredible. Her wand, bendy, which is maybe good because if it was, um, you know, like an actual like proper plastic hard stick, it might just snap off. So um, good for that. I love her little green robe. And then I don't know if these are supposed to represent leaves or like magical powers. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that is that. Also, my housemate's cat is meowing, so I will be right back. He has stopped me having for now, so we will crack on with the video. The second and final Beauty and the Beast one is the Green Dress Belle, and she was a Spring Convention exclusive again from this year. She has the same gorgeous packaging as the Enchantress, and there's our little limited edition sticker here. Again, you have the half image of the face here and the full image on the side. She is 1010 number-wise, and then, of course, it's just the same on the back. I will just pop Bella as well. And I can see... Oh, she does have a stand included. She does. Sometimes the Funkos do have a stand and Belle's stand is in the base. So just if anybody isn't aware of that, I actually only find, found out that from watching... I can't remember who it was. It might have been Lizzie and Disney, actually, when she did pop in a box videos every month. Possibly from that. But yeah, they come in the base of that plastic piece there, so just in case. And Belle does have the one little nodule in her foot so that she can stand in that. Anyways, here is the Funko. It is a very plain Funko. Um, I wish that there was something on the book, but the book does of course look just like the book from the start of the movie in the Belle scene at the start. Um, her hair is in a very loose ponytail with a lovely green bow. Of course you have the green dress and she's also wearing green shoes. Maybe they should have put her in a different color too. Maybe just. Um, but she's a very simple and slimline pop. And that is um, the two Beauty and the Beast ones. Now we move on to my favourite two um, of this haul. Now, if you are a regular to my channel, you will know that Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney movie of all time. But very closely behind is The Emperor's New Groove. And when I saw that these had made their way to Funko Europe, I just had to snap them up. And it is the wondrous convention yet again. Yzma and Kronk exclusive Funkos from, of course, the lab scene. Pull the lever, Kronk! That was quite a bad impersonation, wasn't it? But, um, look at them. They look so good. I wish that they were in a double box, though. I don't know why they're separate. This is what confuses me. Because you pay for them together, you don't pay for them separately. And these were pricey. This was £35 for the two. But I got a really good wage this month and I was like, I'm gonna treat myself. So I did. Um, so I'm gonna pop these out of the box. So, in fact, no, I'll show you the boxes individually first. So first up, um, I'll show you Kronk. Um, he is number 1033. The packaging is just like the original set that came out. You've got the Wondrous Convention logo again here. Full image on the side. And then, of course, on the back, this is just the original Funko set that came out way back when then it's basically just the exact same for Yzma. She isn't holding the test tube though. Full image on the side, of course, and then naturally just the same set on the back. Now let's pop them out of their boxes. I actually don't mind taking them out of the box, that's how I actually display them. If you would like to see how they are displayed, then feel free to watch my Disney room tour. I will leave a link down below and you can see um, how everything is displayed in this room because I'm very proud of how I've managed to get this room to look. So here we have Kronk. He actually does have a dark mark on his forehead. Um, she might be able to see, I don't know, maybe not here, this line here. Um, I love him. I think he's absolutely fantastic. I love the test tube. It looks amazing. Um, and then you've got, of course, the base that he's holding as well. It just looks really good. And even his gloves look like actual latex as well. I love how they're, of course, still in the sandals because, you know, it's hot over there. <laughs> um, and then you've got the back of him as well. With Yzma, she isn't actually holding um, a test tube. She actually has just got her hands together, like marvellous. <laughs> um, and here she is. I've got boxes all around me right now. There she is. I love Yzma. She's one of my favourite villains. She's so funny. Kronk is a fantastic sidekick. He is so good. Um, you've got her hair obviously being put back in this 
as well. Again, her gloves look like latex. The sandals, of course. The lab coat. The back is pretty simple, but she does, of course, still have those massive purple earrings on as well. Um, and these two are my absolute favourites. They are so good. And they are still available. So if you want to spend a fortune on two Funkos as well, feel free, they are on Funko Europe. Um, and with that, it brings us to the very end of this Funko Pop video. And that is it for Funko Pop haul number two. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below if you own any of these or are there any that you particularly like more than the others. And if you collect Funkos, what have you got? Because I said I wasn't really collecting them and I now have probably upwards of 20 to 30 Funkos, which is really bad, but I do have a complete shelf for them. So it's all good. Um, as always, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down below as well. Tinkle that bell so you are notified every time a video goes live too. Um, and that's it. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you for watching, folks, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey.